Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I know I sure am. Today I've got a pretty darn unique bunk model. Not only does it have a back, back bunk in the rear with a full bath and a tub. So if you have a two year old or someone younger like myself, that is almost invaluable. But also you're gonna have a mid bunk room. So you get the ability to sleep a ton of people. Works great for a large family. I always tell people, you know, I got four kids, three dogs, two cats, and a bearded dragon. And this is a floor plan that would work for us when not many do. This is the 2024 Phoenix Shasta 373 MBRB. Almost forgot what I was gonna say there. But man, I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the specifications up on the screen. It's been a pretty common recommendation here to do that. So those should be popping up along with a little, uh, little sticker there for the floor plan. But I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this thing. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. We're gonna head right inside and get right into it. You know, I forgot to mention too, it's got a huge, huge outdoor kitchen. So there's a ton to love on this. But let's go ahead and head right on in a Rooney. Again, the 2024 Phoenix 373 MBRB. Man, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. There's a couple stickers there for you, that Weather Shield, Lion's Head 125 Lifetime Warranty. So you can pause on that if you want some more information. And then the Asdale. So the Asdale is gonna be a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit heavier, but I'll tell you what, it's worth its weight in gold as far as the longevity of a camper is concerned. It's impervious to you know, the water. You know, if you get a water leak, you won't have delamination with the Asdale. So that's a pretty good plus. You can actually see it, you know, right here. So that's gonna be that outer layer. But right when you walk in, this is gonna be where your mid bunk room is. There's a ladder underneath that little cushion. That's why that's sticking up. We'll get back into this here in a moment. But again, five slides. So one up in the bedroom, one right here, one there, one there, and one right here. This kitchen, beautiful setup. The only drawback to this floor plan might be the living room. Maybe doesn't necessarily accommodate space for every individual in that family. If you have a big old family like I do, but I'll tell you what, it gets the job done. When you have a lot of kids and need a lot of space or a lot of friends, you got to make do. That's for sure. So this is going to be the slide dual opposing in here. So you're going to get all this kind of workaround room. I'll get back to this kitchen here in a little bit. I want to start back in the bunk room for show. All right, so that's a good view there. Again, the dual opposing slides, all that extra space. I mean, check that out. And I love the decor team. I think they rocked it. I think the floor, the couch, the darker tones there around the trim just makes it really nice and appealing right when you walk in. It's kind of got that wow factor. But this is gonna be that bunk room that I first mentioned there a second ago. So here's gonna be one of your slides. You got a sleeper sofa down in the bottom. You also have a bunk that drops down so you can use it in gaming mode, movie mode, or in sleeping mode by releasing the bed and dropping the bunk. This top bunk is gonna have a 300 pound capacity. So even a round belly, you know, like myself, you can definitely sleep in there, absolutely no problem. And the head height is pretty incredible too because it's a flush mount slide. So I'm six feet tall and I fit just under here. Slide height's probably gonna be right around 6'1", would be my best guess. All the windows are also gonna be tinted and they open up so that way you can get a really nice breeze in here. You know, we got fall coming up, a lot of good camping seasons coming along and man, having that breeze just makes the nightlife just a little bit better. Black glass insert here into the storage and you see the storage on this is pretty darn big. You know, I'd say you're looking at about two full hands right there. And I got pretty average hands. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Outlet, outlet, USB and Universal C, along with a little bit of countertop space, maybe to put a TV or a PlayStation on those rainy days. But you're also going to get six of these pull-out drawers. So your kids have plenty of space to put stuff. But I think the real star of the show is the fact that it has two bathrooms. Now, the, the bath for the adults, you know, what I'm showering in, has got a little bit more space to it. So that's a big time plus, but they're also both going to be the old porcelain throne. You got one of those friendly doors here in for the bathroom, or if you're outside grilling, you don't have to track mud throughout everything. Smaller size sink with some storage underneath, but access to your plumbing as well. Then you got a little medicine cabinet right there. Plus it's a mirror to check out the old bowling gun, baby. But look at that. And I want to give a shout out to Creo Cole and Carson, our boys. 
All three of them won their football game this weekend. How exciting is that? And now that we're down to the tub, got her two-year-old in swimming lessons. I could see her practicing right there. But look at how big that tub is. So again, two-year-old, that is awesome. Plus it mitigates, you know, kind of the spillage that kids will naturally have. Because they're just destined to be little tornadoes. At least mine are. Got a little uh, sunroof with a little fan there. Help circulate some of the steam or, you know, maybe the stink from cooking. Whatever you're doing there. Oh, by the way. Those are the controls for that. You got the little octopus doodash just waiting for a couple towels to hang up. So that brings us back into the main area and the kitchen. And I love this. Again, the slide height is incredible. It's going to be the same height as inside the bunk room. But it's also going to lead to a big window, hopefully for a nice view. It's also an emergency exit. So a pull, push, and plop. You can get out of there in a hurry. Super comfortable, fluffy theater seating. And you got all the cup holders you would want for all sorts of drinks. You know, heck, I don't know. If you need four drinks, you got four drink holders. You also got a place where you can put your controllers. And then you're also going to see you have heat, light, and massage mode. So super comfortable. And then I'm sitting down. This is going to be the view that you're going to get directly across the recliners. So how awesome is that, you know, for that rainy day or maybe that nightlife, you're sitting down chilling and watching a movie good size tv you could even go a little bit bigger as you can see that looks to be about a 45 50 inch but it looks like you could easily put uh you know a 60 inch tv no problem that's going to be that rca let me turn on those lights there a little bit of countertop space a little bit of storage nothing too crazy right there you know just a little knickknack room and then you got your furion sound bar so hdmi usb zones one and two so that's going to be inside and outside so you can play music both sides and a 36 inch fireplace that puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat to square 500 feet, you know, of space. So you got plenty of room there uh, for, you know, heating up that, that, uh, that kind of crappy day out. You know, that 40, 45 degree day. So right here, you got a table for four. You can move this little leaflet up, play some cards, have some breakfast. Awesome viewing windows. And again, they all open up for a nice breeze on those nice days. And then check that out. Got the old Dracula shade baby. Stop the skin from sizzling. Keep some nosy eyes out. Even snuck in just a little extra storage. All right, flip it around. Probably should have continued on that slide, but you know they hired me because I'm friendly. So right here, you got kind of that peninsula setup, I would say. All of it's going to be solid surface countertops in the Phoenix. So I love seeing that, and it's the kind where if you chip it away, it goes through. It's not overly thick, so it's not going to be super heavy and not very cumbersome on that. You got your high-rise faucet hitting those dishes from all angles and then you have your single stainless steel undermounted bowl along with an outlet over there so really good countertop space you're gonna have your ever chill refrigerator with two freezer portions now this just came in so i haven't had a chance to take the tape off or even some of those safety latches there but it is a very large 12 volt refrigerator i believe it's a 20.3 cubic foot but it's nice because it runs off the solar panel that's on the top of this thing uh, you know, obviously your truck when you're driving around the road, your shore power, all that good stuff. You got your Greystone oven, a little bit bigger than most. Fit a couple chickens in there, absolutely no problem. A little bit of storage there up underneath. Three stovetop burners so you can get cooking up all the fixings. Got yourself a little window. And then you got your high point microwave. Looking nice, looking nice. Look at that, it's even got a snack menu button. Who doesn't like snacks? No, I sure do. None of my friends don't. Or wait, none of my friends. Yeah, all my friends do. <laughs> all right. So right there, you're also going to notice you get the little copper tab. And then underneath the sink, really clean cut storage with access to your plumbing. Pretty classic for those fifth wheels. But I always like showing that off because, you know, you never have too much storage. So three ACs, again, this is all going to be running into the ductwork. So you have one right here, one right there, and then one up in the bedroom. I just think that is really nice. You're prepared for not only the hot weather, but the cold weather as well with those tank heaters. And let's see here, actually. So right here is going to be your control for your heat and electric. Oh, I'm sorry, your heat and your AC is going to be right there. Back to that mid bunk room, really nice size in here. Look how big these bunks are. These are definitely that double wide. They're going to be like a full size bed and each one has a window. Again, it does open up and it does have the Dracula shades. That one is going to be an emergency exit. So pull, push and pop. 
A couple little dresser drawers there up underneath. You see you got outlets, so you're good to go charging up all the devices. And then you even have some pretty hard to access, but if you're in the top bunk, it's no problem. You have storage up top on both sides. And then you even get a little extra right here. Notice the plug-ins as I pan down. And then you got this little corner nook, which I think is cool. You know, just put whatever you want on there, but it's also hiding the view of your fuse box. So if something isn't working, make sure to check that out. A little nightlight as you're heading up the stairs. Again, I think the flooring looks really nice. This is going to be your control panel, and this thing is full. So you have all your slide-out controls right here. You also have your awning. Awning light, let me turn that on. Exterior lights, I'll turn that on. And then you have your tank levels, where you can check out what your you know, fills are at right there. And then your power management switch as well for circuit A and B. So that's going to be you know, for your AC units and whatnot. So that way you can you know, prioritize whichever one you want. Bathroom on this, pretty darn nice size. It's going to be another porcelain toilet, so I like how they didn't cheapen out there and go with the plastic. But you're going to get just enough room so that way you can sit down, comfortably do your business. More of those little octopus guys waiting for towels. Your other connection there for your heat and AC. And then the shower is pretty darn large, and you also got the door with the Triglide glass series there as well. But look at that. You even got a little stool there so you can sit down. Again, six feet tall, 300 pounds. Check out all the room. Not only do I have, you know, around me, if you really wanted to get crazy, you could have two people in here, but you also got plenty of head height too. So if you were 6'3", six, 6'4", six, you know, you could make do with that, no problem. Plastic bowl with enough room to put some of your, uh, you know, your stuff there, maybe your uh, toothbrushes and whatnot, some soaps, outlets. More storage for more belongings. Oh, forgot to show you here, and sorry I'm whipping around the camera. Activate 4G LTE and Wi-Fi. So that's a really nice feature to have. You simply just take a picture of that, it'll pop right up with the instructions. But with more people working remote, having that ability you know, is really nice and easy. Another emergency exit right there. Hopefully again, you got a good view. Queen bed with some storage underneath. And then you're also going to see on both sides, and I love this, this side's going to be a little smaller than that, but you have room for a CPAP machine or a couple books, you know, laptop, whatever it is that you need, along with all the outlets that you, you know, you have to have to power up some of those devices. And then you got enough room to scooch on through on both sides. But then the, on this side, I'm doing, you can see in the mirror here, I'm doing kind of that sideways scoot, okay? You need to turn that way for that. But over here, because they have that vanity slide, Look at that. So you get plenty of room. I mean, I can fully moving sideways. Awesome closet for some extended vacations. And then down here, you're gonna get the pull out drawer. I don't know if there's supposed to be another drawer for that, if that's an opening area. I gotta check into that. I'm not too familiar with the Phoenix for this floor plan. This is the first one I've seen of that, but I'll definitely check into that. And then right here, love, love, love seeing it. You got a place for a fully stackable washer and dryer or just an absolute behemoth, you know, of a closet. So that is awesome. Great shelving, you know, or the washer and dryer for those extended stays, however you want to handle that. And then there's going to be that third AC. And if you want to disproportionately hog all the cool air, you know, suffocate the kids out a little bit, open up that dump valve, you're good to go, or to evenly distribute it throughout the coach, you close it. And uh, yeah, everyone can enjoy it. Kind of depends on how funny you want to be, I suppose. And even though this is a mid-profile unit, even up here in the front, plenty of head height. Again, you're probably looking at about 6'2 up here in the bedroom. But all right, guys. Again, this is the 2024 Shasta Phoenix 373 MBRB. Let me know. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Now I'm going to head around the outside. And... Uh, yeah, show you what she's all about and get into that outdoor kitchen. So if you missed some of the specifications there at the beginning, those are also going to be down in the description of this video along with my contact information. If you guys are in the market for an RV, I'd love to be the guy that helps facilitate that. Right up in the front, you're going to notice you got three sets, well maybe four sets I guess, of LED lights. You have one here, here, and then right up across the top, and then you get the blue kind of indicator lights you know, right there. So that's pretty nice for when you're backing up maybe on that darker night 
or if it's getting a little bit rainy so that way you can see kind of things a little bit easier when you're trying to hook up. You're also going to get the electric leveling. Propane behind this door. This is going to be your two exterior marine grade speakers. So you don't have to worry about it being a rainy day like it was today. That awning, I'm gonna guess somewhere around 18 feet or so, but you also get the LED lights that run up underneath it, provide some good shade. And then one thing I do like about Phoenix, and you know, some brands do it, some brands don't, you have that magnetic latch. You know, I don't know why, that's always something that I kind of gravitate towards. Those cheap, chintzy plastic ones, if you guys have owned an RV before, you know how easily those break. I cannot tell you over the last 11 years of selling RVs, how many of those I've just ripped off of campers on accident, like a bonehead. Aluminum construction, welded at all points. You also got that alumafoil sitting up there, so you see no exposed wood, just kind of an extra little touch. Probably doesn't cost much to do, but it shows that they care for sure. Outlets, a little place where you can hold, I'm assuming that. And then over here, it's your electric auto level button, and then your battery disconnect. I'll get to that here in a moment. The Phoenix is also prepped for the three camera safety system. So you'll see a camera prep on this side, the other side, and then in the rear. You got the step above steps that flip up into the doorway. I like seeing those like a lot of brands just because they are more of a solid step. You know, those, um, like here in the back, you got those three aluminum steps drops. You know, they're a little bit flimsy. So that kind of eliminates that. Plus you have the weather strip. You also got the extra large kind of granny handle there. So I love that. Internet upgradable, baby. The Air 360. Dual axle. The old Sterling tires. And then this is one of my favorite things about the whole RV. This outdoor kitchen is awesome. Go ahead and unlock it here. Ooh. Look how massive that thing is. You could put a huge TV, enjoy the tailgating life. You got outlets all over the place. USB, Universal C. A little refrigerator there for a 24 pack of apple juice. And then you got a tray that pulls out and another tray right there that you can put a griddle in. I'm sorry, it was a four step down aluminum step. So that goes into that extra, ba or extra bathroom and bedroom there. You also have your black tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. You got a bumper with a hitch and then your 50 amp hookup, along with a ladder to get on top of your fully walkable roof. Check your seals, check your slides. You can get a slide topper on all four of the off door slides, which is pretty nice, really helps cut down on maintenance. But that ladder is gonna have a weight capacity of 250 pounds to get up there. You know, check everything that you need to check. Shows that the underside's all buttoned up. Again, they do have uh, the tank heaters on that, which is nice for that kind of that longer stay. Man, it's just a beautiful night. It's a good day to have a good day. Look at that, they even put a light there for your hose, for your dump valve. And you also saw that spare tire. And there's your other dump right over here. And again, another light, just an added touch. I like seeing that. Furion on-demand hot water heater. And then over on this side, you get a little bit less space there for the pass-through storage because they added in a docking station. So you have hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower over here. Then you also have your other tanks. This is going to be another black tank flush, a couple outlets, your valves, your potable water, and then all your, um, your fills and turns for winterizing. And of course, cable and ox and all that good stuff. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening. Again, my name is Hunter, and this was the 2024 Phoenix 373 MBRB. Hope you guys have a good night. See ya.